Hello everyone, another user here bringing you another average video. This is the second episode of Becoming a Billionaire or BAB for short, basically a journey to a billion GP by completing a collection log for certain bosses and mini games such as Barrows. This video did take me a very long time to make, probably around 30 to 35 hours of playtime, so go ahead and leave me a nice thick like. But of course, you don't have to do that. I'm trying to keep this video short, so please enjoy this loot and watch this in times 2 speed or even 1.5. Anyway, let's get into the loot. I am showing every single chest from the 500 that I did, and I will be showing the item drops for just a couple seconds longer than the rest. I was going to add some other things into this video, but that would have made it very long, and I don't think anybody really wants to sit here for 20 minutes and watch Barrow's loot. But overall, I had a good time making this. I honestly just watched Netflix most of the time while I was doing this, and it was my first time ever really doing Barrow's. I will say overall, I did make pretty decent money here, but is it worth it for someone that's my level? Not really, unless you're looking for something that's pretty easy to do. But if you are a lower level or a mid level, this is a great way to make some easy money. If you guys haven't noticed at Barrows, there's tons of people here from all different level ranges, from low to high, and all different types of gear setups. For me, it's easier to grind things when I set a goal for myself, so that's what I'm doing here. Told myself I would complete Barrows, and that's what I'm doing. At this point, I just kind of feel like I'm rambling because there's not really much to say or to show. So yeah, I'm feeling really confident that I will finish the collection log before chest 500, but we'll see how it goes. Now I have a question for you guys. What boss do you think I should grind out next? I was thinking of maybe doing Serachnus because I've never done it before and it's a mid-level boss so it shouldn't take me too long to complete. And the gear I need to complete that boss, I don't think it's too expensive either. It's already been out for over a year and I haven't been there. But just like Barrows, it's not that profitable for higher level players, but even if you are a mid-level player, you can complete these bosses. And if you grind them out long enough, you will make a lot of money. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think Serachnus is a good idea? Or I was even thinking about doing the giant mole because I already have around 800 kills there. And that's also another really easy boss and a really old boss. And you can actually make some decent money at the giant mole. So yeah, I'm debating between those two. Let me know what you guys think. Hey guys, it's me from the future. I'm doing the editing right now and I'm trying to keep this video as short as I can. And I'm just kind of going through to fill in some gaps so there's not just a whole lot of silence. But I promise I won't mind if you just skip ahead to the loot or if you just watch this in times two. I actually uh, recommend watching it in times two speed to uh, save yourself some time. Chest 363. The first set is complete. We now have full Varax. We are back to another one of those quiet spots. I'm not really going to say much except for when I complete a set to help cut down the video time a little bit. I guess I could use this time to mention some things I did cut out. So I actually ended up getting to level 90 magic from 88 during my time here at Barrows. So that's pretty cool. Easy money and easy magic levels. Magic is the only combat skill I need to get to 99. Chest 406, second set complete. We now have a full Darox. So far so good. I'm feeling really confident that I'll finish this before 500. So what do you think? Do you think I will finish this before the 500 chests are complete? Or do you think I'm just going to go on a massive dry streak? The drop rate of Barrows is pretty generous, so I think I can do it. Chest 428. Third set is complete. We now have full Guthans. So that's three down, three more to go. So. We are back to another one of those quiet spots. It's me, another user, doing editing. But anyway, this quiet spot is a lot longer because, spoiler alert, after this Guthans plate I get here, I go on a crazy dry streak. So, I mean, I guess it's not that crazy, but it sucked. So, you know, one like, one good luck, all that good stuff. And if you are still watching this and you made it this far, you are a real one. Thank you for watching and I hope you are enjoying this loot and watching me on this dry streak.
But of course, every dry streak does come to an end, so it's not that big of a deal. Chest 499 finally finished Carol's, and that puts an end to this pretty big dry streak of 57 chests and no item. So I was feeling really confident about completing barrels before 500, but yeah, not anymore. So here's the loot for the 326 chests I've done in this video, but overall we're at 499 chests complete. So we only need a couple more items left, you can see right here. Hopefully I don't just get a whole bunch of repeat items. At this point I only need three more items. Hopefully I don't just get a whole bunch of repeat items. Barrows has been pretty generous to me besides that one dry streak. Other than that, it's been pretty good. Chest 517, Aram's Staff. And that leaves us with only two items left to get, the Aram's Hood and Torag's Legs. I still have roughly 150 more chests to complete, so I'm actually feeling pretty confident. Earlier, I was starting to lose my confidence in me being able to complete this within the 500 chests, but 150 to go, so let's see. Will the RNG gods bless me? I think they will. All I need is two more items and the drop rate is pretty generous. So we see this crossbow, I don't need that. Runes, runes, and more runes. All I need is an Aram's hood and Torax plate legs, but here is a plate body, unfortunately. I am getting pretty lucky, a Varax skirt, and then some Torax hammers, then a whole bunch more runes. And the runes do actually add up after a while. You will see here at the end of the video, I do end up getting a crazy amount, in my opinion at least. Now we are back to a whole lot of nothing. Just runes, runes, and more runes. But it's alright because we could always use some runes. Chest 593 and chest 420 for the video. I am just about out of charges. I am using the Enchanted Toxic Trident, so I had 20,000 charges. And if anybody's wondering, I was able to get 520 chests completed with those 20,000 charges. 594 and 595 back-to-back -back drops, so that's pretty cool. Especially because I, I hit that dry streak earlier. I still need just two more items, so hopefully I get those and I don't just keep getting repeat items. But either way, I am making pretty decent money, so... No big deal. I'll get them eventually. This is the last of the little blank spots, I promise. So if you made it this far, like I said earlier, you are a real one. But if you just watched this in times two or skipped around, you are also a real one. Anyway, it's almost time for the loot. So right around here, I still have about 35 chests left. So there's still a good chance I'll complete this, but I'm not making any promises. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a like, leave a comment, whatever you feel like. Chest 658, a double item for the first time. And finally, I get an Aram's hood. And that completes Aram's. All I need now is one item. That would have been really cool if I got both items I needed in this double drop, but it's all good. There's only a couple more left for me to do in this video. So hopefully I can get this final item. But the way it's going, I feel like I'm going to end up getting another repeat, so we'll see. Here it is everyone, chest 673 and chest number 500 for the video. Unfortunately, I didn't complete the collection log, I still need Torag's legs, but it's no big deal, I will get them very soon. Here is the loot, I made 44.8 mil, and in my last video I made about 9.5 mil, so that brings me to a total of around 54 mil. I did spend around 9 mil to refill my tridents, but it doesn't really matter because no matter what, I made a profit here. If you made it this far into the video, thank you, please leave a like if you want, and stick around if you want to hear me talk about my channel real quick. But if all you wanted to see was the loot, thank you for watching. Sorry it took me so long to get this video out. I did say in my Vorkath guide that if I ended up gaining some more subscribers, I would try to upload more consistently, and to my amazement, I actually did get some more. As of right now, February 10th, 2021, I have 320 subscribers and my top video has a little over 15,000 views. It doesn't sound like much compared to big names, but I think it's crazy and it's a lot to me. So thank you guys for the support. I will try my best to upload more consistently. Hopefully I can upload a video around once a week and see what happens from there. 
So yeah, please leave a like if you feel like it, and maybe even subscribe if you feel like it. That's pretty much it. Thank you everyone for watching. I will complete Barrows very soon. Until next time, guys. Peace.